Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel, Pisces Venus. And today is a very, very special video. So I ask that you really, really watch the intro, please, so you can understand this video. Okay, so I have been going back and forth with talking to Spirit about if I should do a particular video. For one, it's because I didn't want to look crazy because it is a little crazy. And it's like, I don't know, it's a little risky because I can risk people, you know, commenting like, oh, it didn't work. Or I didn't get anything. Or I didn't. And I was just like, didn't want that type of energy. But I got a huge sign that I should do it. So I'm going to do it. And if you don't know what I'm talking, I'm pretty sure you don't know what I'm talking about. But it is a find the money video let me explain <laughs> okay so i came up with this topic for a video because like i said i love the subject of money i love money in general and i just like i love money so much and i know that i'm gonna make so much money in my lifetime and I do want to like teach people abundant mindsets and um like I want to I want to teach about money so I was just like thinking about a lot of things like how can I how can I incorporate the subject of like money on my channel because my channel is going to be heavily it's it's, it's going to be heavily influenced by the subject of money not influence but it's just gonna have a whole lot of videos about money because that is what i'm interested in in wealth so anyways um i haven't did this in a while and when i say a while i mean i haven't done this in like maybe a year year and a half probably even more it's, it's been a while since i've done this but i used to use tarot to find money like in my house so what i would do is because like I don't read the tarot like everybody else like at all and maybe one time one day I will upload a video to let y'all know like what I really see when I look at the different tarot cards but I don't read tarot like everybody else I get completely different meanings from each card almost and different cards mean different things right so what I would do was I, I would pull tarot and I would let it be like a clue for me to because I would I would ask God I would say um I'm trying to find some money um I know that there's money everywhere and that's that's one of the things that you have to do before you even get into this is you have to know that money is all around you there's no way that money can't be around you I mean it's everywhere it's energy it's, it's everywhere so like you can go outside and, and find a dollar on the ground like literally money is everywhere so i would say i know money is everywhere there has to be money in my house all the money that has came in and out of my house there has to be money here there has to be money in my house right so i would pull tarot and i would literally let it lead me to somewhere i remember one time um i pulled a card that like that represented the front of the house one of the cards represented the front of the house and i know in the front of my house i had a, a coat closet so i go to the front of my house just like the car said i open up the coat closet and i make my way to this old apron that i had um, because I used to have a vegan food business. But anyways, I reach into the apron and find $20 in the coat closet inside of the apron. And that's just one example of the way that it used to work for me. So I wanted to share it with y'all. And I wanted to do a pick a card to quote unquote find the money. So this could go so many different ways. And I'm so nervous. But at the same time, I'm so excited. So, pick a pile, one through three, and 
I will show y'all where you can find the money. See you at your pearls. Hey, Pearl One. So, if you did not watch the intro, I suggest that you go back and watch the intro so you can kind of understand what this reading is about. And I just want to say a little disclaimer. Um, this is going to all depend upon your belief system and what you think you can and cannot do. And yeah, it, it, this video was inspired by one of my lovely viewers, um, who watched a video of mine talking of, um, pertaining to money. And she was just telling me in the comments that, she had attracted um some money and that was like my confirmation that i needed to do this video i'm nervous i have not been really nervous since i <laughs> since i started this channel but i guess this is something that i'm putting out there that's like i don't know it just feels <laughs> it feels like i'm taking a risk but Anyway, today's topic is find the money. So, like I was saying in the intro, I used to play this game with God. I used to play this game with the universe where I used to pull cards and let it lead me to money. And it used to work all the time. So, I wanted to do that for my viewers. I wanted to give y'all clues that only y'all would understand to lead y'all to some money and it's just depending upon your belief system it can be twenty dollars it could be fifty dollars it can be a hundred dollars it could be whatever but i do have specific intentions for the video so i'm just gonna need y'all to comment and let me know how this worked out for y'all <laughs> So, yeah. Anyway, that was a long intro, and I usually don't do long intros, but here we go. So, I already pulled a tarot card, and I pulled five cards, and I'm doing this for every, um, for every pile. So, for your tarot, we have, <laughs> we have the Ten of Pentacles for tarot. We have international. I'm already getting something. We got well dressed. We got city girl shit. We got play the lottery, a scratcher. Uh, uh, and we got silver. Okay. So, quite literally, with the Ten of Pentacles and in International Power One, if you have traveled, um recently look in your luggage look in your luggage look in every si single zipper look in every single compartment you might have some money up in there look in your luggage because that is what i'm automatically getting with this ten of pentacles this international and this well-dressed look in your luggage look in maybe other other um clothes that you have stored away i'm not really getting like clothes that's hanging up or clothes in a closet i'm getting cl clothes that are like packed up packed up clothes so if you have any packed up clothes like a suitcase or even if you have packed up clothes in a bag like if you have like a goodwill bag that's packed up look in there and see if you see some money um it may be in something silver because we got silver here. And when I get city girl shit, I'm really feeling like a girl's trip or something like that. Like you went on some type of trip or if you even if you didn't go on a trip and you just like went out for the night. That's another thing I'm getting. If you went out for the night, the clothes that you had on when you went out the last time you went out, look in those pockets or the purse that you wore the last time you went out look in that purse um 
also is saying play the lottery scratcher you might want to quite literally go buy a scratcher or you already have a scratcher that you thought was a loser but you you kind of looked at it wrong or you you read it wrong but it's really a winner so if you have scratchers that's already in your house go back and look over those again because that can actually be a winner that's what i'm getting and i'm gonna pull a few more cards from my cat ear deck this is so fun go to oh my <laughs> this is confirmation uh, go to a bar or restaurant yes the last time that you went out something that is associated with the last time you went out has money in it go find it go find it the last time you went out look at the purse that you wore the last time you went out go look at the jeans you wore the last time you went out go look at the suitcase that you carried the last time you traveled look in every compartment because it, it might be up in there it might be up in there or if you got some clothes that's packed any kind of clothes that's packed like maybe if you got like a gift bag that you was gonna give away full of clothes you need to go back and look in that gift bag and check the pockets or um if you have a bag that you was gonna take the goodwill look through that bag again check the pockets it's it's you have money somewhere that was left somewhere where you was partying last and i'm seeing silver and something makes me want to say when you went to the beyonce concert that that just came up like when you went to the beyonce concert did you wear something that you never that you never picked up again it might have money in it what did you wear when you went to renaissance you need to go check the pockets <laughs> yeah that's what i'm getting straight for it i'm gonna leave it at that i'm gonna leave it at that i'm gonna leave it at that power one come back and let me know let me know if you found some money and i will see y'all in the next video hey pro two so like i was telling power one if you did not watch the intro you might want to go watch the intro so you can know how this um video is really gonna work and what it's all about um one of my lovely viewers inspired me to do this video because i had been going back and forth about if i should or if i shouldn't do it because it felt really like <laughs> i don't know i just feel like i don't know i feel like i'm taking a risk by doing this but um what the hell why not and um yeah so today's topic is going to be about finding money so what i'm going to be doing is giving you clues to find some money and i have pulled the um one tarot card and <laughs> five of my cards and i'm doing this for every pile so and I didn't even tell Pi One this, but it do in this particular video you only probably only want to pick one pile, not two. Maybe only y'all needed to hear that <laughs> and not Pi One. But for your tarot card, you got the Four of Wands, okay. And for your other cards, you got Dress Sex for you. <laughs> I'm already getting some. You got Yes. You got you jump timelines. <laughs> you got water. <laughs> and you got small car. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. The way that spirit talks to me is funny. But you can find some money wherever the last time you were intimate <laughs> let's say whenever the last time you were intimate you can find some money this can be under your bed under your mattress maybe even in your car for some of y'all nasties wherever the last time you was intimate you can find some money wherever the last time you were intimate and it was and it was a good time 
if the last time you was intimate, it wasn't really all of that, it wasn't nothing to call home about, then that's not the time I'm talking about. I'm talking about the time before that, the time that was actually enjoyable. That was the time where, that was the place where you need to go and look for the money. Um, what else did I, was I about to say? It just kind of left me. Let me pull another card. But yeah, the last time you were intimate, so your bed, your car, under your mattress, maybe even in between the sheets and the pillowcases. I'm just giving y'all places where y'all can look. I'm thinking of places where a person would be intimate. Or maybe even on the couch. I don't know. On the couch, under the under the cushion. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Fast heartbeat. Why is y'all? <laughs> Why is y'all like this? Why do I have to be channeling this right now? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> this reading is funny. It's slim thick. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Um, <laughs> wherever the last place you were intimate, even if it was with yourself, even if it was with yourself, look. And with the slim thick, I also see look at the jeans. Maybe if you had on something with pockets that you took off and you never put them back on, look in those pockets. <laughs> um, yeah, but I'm getting, um, it is somewhere, somewhere in your house. And it might not just be the bedroom, but only you know, because I don't know. I don't know. It might just only be, it might be somewhere that you specifically were intimate at. That's probably not like a usual, like, space or something like that. I'm getting that too for some of y'all. But yeah, let me try to get one, let me get one more. what in the world okay we got a housewife <laughs> some of y'all could be a housewife and yeah um <laughs> this is pretty straightforward like it's nothing else that i can say like y'all know exactly what i'm talking about so <laughs> pile two let me know if and when and how much money did you find? <laughs> and I will see ya in the next video. Hey, pile three. Welcome to your pile. So I was telling the other piles that if you have not watched the introduction, you need to go back and watch the introduction so you can understand how this video is going to work. The last two piles were so good and so fun and i can't wait to see y'all comments but anyways um go back um to the beginning watch the intro so y'all can understand how to use this video and um yeah i was inspired by one of my lovely viewers um to do this video because i had been contemplating if i should do it or if, if i shouldn't but her comment um letting me know about some money that she attracted to her let me know that yes i should do this video and i don't know i just feel i feel i felt like i was taking a risk so i was a little nervous but now it's pile three i'm kind of warmed up and i think it's it's fun it would be a fun reading so yeah i'm gonna be pulling these cards and giving y'all clues as to where y'all can find some money so let's get started i pulled one tarot card already and then i have um five of my cards and just to let y'all know it's best to only pick one pile for this particular reading just to kind of keep it you know not confusing you know so what we got <laughs> we got the six of wands we have A wind full of money soon. All black. 
boo thing. Hi. And we have sugar fast. Hmm. I'm getting you can find some money wherever the last time you found some money at. So like because I'm looking at high I'm looking at a windfall of money soon. I'm looking at the six of wands. I'm looking at a sugar fast. I'm looking at all black. I'm looking at a boo thing. Every card that I'm looking at is, baby, it look like, it look like a good time. It look like everything is everything. It look good. It looks like everything is going great. So where you can find money is, think back to the last time where you felt like every single thing in your life was fulfilled like think about the last time where you felt like everything is good what were you doing what were you doing during that time a lot think about what you was doing that time a lot were you driving a lot because you was going out so much or was you wearing a certain particular um, coat all the time? You was wearing it all the time? Or was you using a certain bank account all the time? Or did you put a certain amount of money to the side and you forgot about it? Back when you, maybe you got a big windfall of money and you put some money away, but then you forgot you forgot that you put some money away somewhere or you forgot that you had let somebody borrow some money and they hadn't gave it back to you and you can call and see if they you know if they still had that money or it's something that you forgot about that you did when you had a big sum of money so you you put some money away somewhere or you 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 put some money somewhere when you was up and I'm not saying that you're down now, but maybe you have a little bit less money than you had at the time when you was up and you can use that money, but you forgot that you put some money away if you get what I'm saying. Let me pull some cards from my cat ear deck. Okay, we have your wishes being granted. We got fine AF, remember your dream, your wish is being granted. We have spiritual tech, we have there on the down low, and we have STD AIDS. This could have been, you could find some money there was a time where you had a lot of money, right? But you felt like, oh my God. Okay. There was a time where you had a lot of money. And listen to me because remember, these are clues for you to find money. There was a time where you had a lot of money. You were doing good, right? You was up. You Maybe you got a big uh, windfall of money, right? And you spent money on a particular item. These, these are examples, but listen to my examples. You spend money on a particular item. You, get, you let somebody borrow some money. You maybe put a certain amount of money on a card. You might have uh, put some money to the side in a, in a sock or something. Who knows? You, you did something. You did something with some money to put to the side, right? And then you lost a lot of money um, for some reason. Or you felt like somebody did something wrong 
you feel like somebody did something wrong for you for you to lose a lot of money you might have felt like you was being spiritually attacked and that's why you lost a lot of money but for some reason you you had a lot of good luck at some point some point recently like in the in the recent past you had a str uh you had a, a a string of good luck and you had a lot of money right you did something with some of that money but then you quickly kind of lost that money right maybe you spent it all or whatever who knows but you started to think that you was being spiritually attacked because you you just felt like the money like got away from you or something right well it is something that you did during the time that you had that money and i need you to sit down and i need you to think what did i do when i had that money what did i do where did i put money at that i haven't touched did I put money on a on a prepaid debit card and forgot about it? Did I put money on a gift card and forget about it? Did I let somebody borrow some money and just forgot to ask for it back? Did I buy something that I never returned and it's worth money and I could return it and get my money back? Did I did I hide some money away in a shoebox somewhere? Like what did I do when I was up and I had all of that money that I felt that I felt was taken away from me or I felt got away from me too quick. What did I do when I had that money? Because that is, that is very significant. And this is not nothing way in the past. This is talking about the recent past, like not too long ago, maybe like a couple, maybe like a month, couple months ago, no more than three months ago, you had a lot of money. Then you lost a lot of money. And now you're just kind of back to normal. Like you don't have a lot of money. You don't, you just kind of, you know, you, you, you don't have a lot of money anymore, but you did something while you had a lot of money that you can go back and get like you put some money up somewhere and you might have completely forgot about it because when you was rolling in a dough, you wasn't worried about it. So pile three, let me know how this resonate. I'm actually going to pull one more card for you because this is the out of all the piles. This is the one that. The other two piles was kind of more straightforward, but this one is kind of like you really have to sit back and you have to think, what was I doing when I had all of that money? Nurse. Oh, okay. We have nurse. We have they was on the down low. We have spiritual tech and we have AIDS STD. So this might mean something to you. Because that's not a coincidence that we have nurse, STDAs, they was on a down low, and spiritual attack. There, there is no, that's a connection. It's a connection there. I'm going to pull one more. You are such, you are such a loving person. Did you put this money up for somebody or did you let somebody borrow some money? You got to let me know, Pal 3. Pal 3, comment and let me know if, when, and where you find this money. Because I, out of all the pals, I'm interested. I want to know how this all tied together in the end. And if it tied all together in the end... <laughs> Pile three, this was so fun. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all in the next video.